Will Putin use nuclear weapons? While Russia's invasion of Ukraine has continued since February 24, Russia conducted the first launch test of the Sarmat intercontinental ballistic missile yesterday. Russian President Vladimir Putin described the Sarmat missile as a weapon like no other in the world. Has the possibility of Russia to use nuclear weapons increased? What are the rules regarding the use of nuclear weapons? According to a document from 2020 called Russian Basic Principles of Nuclear Deterrence, this decision is made by Russian President Vladimir Putin. Known as the Chegat, the small briefcase that commands and controls the chain of Russia's nuclear networks is kept with Putin at all times. Chegat does not include a button to use the nuke. The chief of the general staff of Russia gains access to the launch code of the nuclear missile. In this way, it can give authorization to individual weapon commanders. Russian leader Putin ordered the Russian nuclear deterrence forces to go on high alert on February 27. The meaning of the order to go on high alert is not fully understood. Pavel Podvig, a senior researcher at the United Nations, said that with this order, Russia's nuclear command may have acted or the Russians would increase capacity at nuclear power plants. According to the Russia's Basic Principles of Nuclear Deterrence 2020 Doctrine, there are four scenarios in which Russia's use of nuclear weapons may be justified. 1. The use of nuclear weapons are weapons of mass destruction against Russia or its allies. 2. Data showing the targeting of ballistic missiles against Russia or its allies. 3. Respond to threats of attack on the government or military installations that would weaken Russia's nuclear forces. 4. The use of conventional weapons against Russia. When the existence of the state is at stake, the American Federation of Scientists estimates that Russia has the most nuclear warheads of 5,977. Of these, 1,588 are deployed and ready to use.